Hello everybody, I'm Giuseppe Basilio, also known as the Fib Stalker. Thanks for uh, joining in uh, for this intraday uh, review. And this is part one um, of today's review. Today is May the 24th, 2018. It's uh, 10 p.m. EST time in Toronto. And in this first part, I'm going to review the um, majors and the uh, futures that we follow. And uh, as usual, if the first time you're watching this video, please um, we didn't accept the uh, the disclaimer here. This is the usual disclaimer, and I'm gonna get into uh, the uh, markets uh, right away here. Um, first off is the dollar index. Important development for the dollar index here that could suggest a um, continuation higher. Um, well, considering also that you know this is a break. Of the larger time frame here this is now to be uh, anticipated okay so whether it's going to uh, be a raging bull like uh, we have seen in the past um, or there's going to be a reaction lower if there is a reaction lower we have an extension along that could actually <clears throat> um, act as potential support here so I'm going to remove these uh, um, uh, short and considering the long here 92.28 now it's worth reviewing the US dollar Singapore dollar and the euro dollar right away here <clears throat> because <clears throat> that's what we um, you know that's what we uh, want to look at uh, and as you can see here in the last few session the US Singapore dollar uh, really has not gone anywhere and uh, on the weekly time frame we have that same equivalent level that uh, has traded during um, traded two weeks ago here and if 133.43 is retested on the upside on the down as uh, retested here again we could see uh, <clears throat> the new um, trend uh, here um, actually shipping up so 133.42 is certainly a level that we want to watch uh, the euro dollar if the dollar index is going to correct the euro dollar should also correct high could also correct higher here this is very very um, um, you know bearish behavior here but um, we have to consider two things first of all you remember that we considered uh, after the fact an extension long the first target this extension long is <clears throat> in play again okay so this could actually kind of propel the price higher and um, there is always the 50 percent which could act as a, um, a resistance but in this market we have very clear level uh, it's been uh, technical lately we can see them on the daily and that's what i'm going to use here uh, because the market has shown already that it has used this anchor here uh, sorry bringing price to first target that's the um, anchor we're gonna use going forward here and <clears throat> and that's the um, that's the uh, lows to uh, new lows here and that's quite of quite a retracement if that takes place 1929 1930 here could be the continuation lower okay that um, could actually um, keep uh, pushing this price lower. Now, in this market, we have a serious um, uh, possibility risk of um, of a continued uh, down down move here, uh, and so <clears throat> I want to speak about this because uh, you know uh, by trading uh, this kind of opportunity, that's where the big money is okay many many people they um, you know they keep trading um, uh, and taking many many positions and that's okay when you have a small account and you have to grow the account but going forward as your account grows or you keep adding to your account and you, you start considering trading uh, as a business then you know, what happens is that uh, you know um, the kind of uh, moves that uh, we are interested in become more and more these kind of moves here and here we could have a, a, a situation that is basically developing 
the same move here because there is a lot of uh, headline risks and uh, problems uh, with the European debt. Uh, I'm very negative about the euro, but in terms of price, in terms of its future. So let's see if this is just a continued sell here, if you're going to see that bounce. But even if we get the bounce, that's going to be a sell. And, you know, the equivalent of this initial move here would be this move that we saw here in 2014. So be interesting to see this retrace and then, uh, you know, a continuation of the move lower. And during the summer, we could see the euro really moving a lot. So that's something that you want to keep in the back of your mind um, with um, with the uh, dollar index moving higher gold uh, has the potential to retest that uh, 1263 and uh, on the daily here we have a potential short developing here um, previous uh, lows to new lows and that's something you want to take into account. Silver is still moving uh, in this uh, nonsensical uh, um, consolidation here. Uh, it could continue like this for months without uh, resolution here. Um, and it may be still early for silver. So we will see uh, everybody, you know, it's there's a lot of fear in the market. Everybody's calling for gold starting moving higher. Uh, maybe not yet um, so it's good to uh, you know to be patient and uh, um, and wait uh, for when the actual uh, moves uh, actually takes place uh, sp500 here um, you know we are uh, in uh, still in a bullish move here this market has traded the previous extension uh, in february and retested basically retested the level uh, not to the peep but uh, to the tick here but <clears throat> basically uh, there was the place to establish new longs and um, it is possible for this market to see the highs again before july All right so um here we are, we are we are having a coil or some sort of formation here it's not really important what is important is that if price moves above 27.40 then we can see a move higher um, and a continued move higher here uh, into the previous size and possibly this market could continue higher i will uh, prepare a special on the sp500 to see all the uh, uh, to see it from all the angles and see what could happen uh, in this market okay so let's continue with the other majors new zealand dollar us dollar has traded the 50 percent <coughs> long here and um and since uh, has been uh, has been moving higher we know that at the very beginning these moves are not very technical on the four hour time frame it is possible that uh, yesterday we start seeing that uh, participation there and and therefore this market has targets above now in terms of trying to identify what the um uh, the next area of resistance could be and also the confirmation of the new trend higher um, I'm going to use the um, the low here the swing low on the daily or on the weekly here so it's possible for this market to be moving higher into that level the very first measure move here was a failed move but that level is being respected now bringing price into that first target Australian dollar US dollar a similar situation here we know that this market has uh, corrected before um, and um, you know this market has found participation at 74 81 and this is a range so um, you know although the New Zealand uh, uh, although the Australian um, US uh, sorry the Australian uh, Central bank has indicated they they are willing to raise the interest rates. Uh, that could be the reason why um, you know this market has is reacting here. And in terms of confirmation, uh, it gave the confirmation already. 
this is a range so uh, it's possible for this market to keep moving higher into the 50 percent first and and because this is a range uh, this market could also continue higher okay so not very technical at the beginning here but if we use the 7446 anchor that has traded a couple of days ago if he retests uh, and holds this is going to be uh, an opportunity to go long this market pound versus us dollar um you know under pressure here we identified on the larger time frame an extension short that's what we're gonna keep using for the time being here uh, it's a monthly uh, level doesn't matter anyway so um what matters is that you know this market could actually retrace here from lows to lows into 136.55 and then a continuation lower okay So um, that's what we see here, 136.55, um, if the market can, can make it there, uh, you know, Algos could also use lower anchors here, so this is not yet uh, clear. Uh, user as with Frank, we had this big move higher to previous size, and there is some profit taking going on here. When we look at the uh, daily, uh, we know that <clears throat> the last um, the last 50% uh, that we used uh, was this one, and so uh, the market then accelerated. So what you see on the screen here is the potential area for a retrace. So we're still waiting for that. Not really a lot <clears throat> going on, and I wouldn't short this market. Be very careful here. Uh, and if we get into 95.51, that could be an opportunity. US dollar, <clears throat> Canadian dollar has uh, reacted to the 50% that it's in place now since a couple of weeks. So nothing has changed there. Uh, and um, um, <clears throat> on the four hour time frame here, so we see a lateral move. Uh, so not uh, a lot of uh, structure so far. But what we saw actually uh, trading. Um, in the morning here at the beginning in, um, of, of the session today's session here was uh, um, the market coming back and respected the 50% for the first time and this could actually uh, imply uh, a continuation higher for this market okay and finally for this first group is just dollar <coughs> Japanese yen <coughs> when we look at this market uh, you know, this is a market that is moving laterally on top of the 50% that we saw trading in July last uh, last year, July 2017. And, um, and this market uh, um, is actually uh, moving laterally between these two uh, large uh, levels here. Of course, there is an upward bias. Uh, because of the strength in the US dollar that could uh, actually continue and when we look at the weekly here and we trace the highs to highs this just came into play okay so um, when we look at the sequence of measure move lower here in order to find a confirmation there is an extension here and uh, you know we can find a better level uh, which would also suggest that the film stalking timing has already confirmed the um, <clears throat> the um, the move here, the uh, the actual um, the actual uh, um, uh, the actual confirmation here. If we use the aggressive rule, and if we don't want to do that, then we can use the highs to lows which is trading now that's what's getting a participation here in case of a successful retest of 109 this is a long into 113 40 or higher thanks for watching uh, this is the first part i'm gonna work on the second parts now bye bye now